three, two. Hey guys, I'm John P. with GeekBeat TV, and I wanted to show you the unboxing of the new Atomos Ninja 2. I don't know if that's how you say it. I'm guessing it's Atomos. It's like Adam Os. Could be Atomos. I don't know. Anyway, this is the Ninja 2, and what a Ninja 2 is, is a monitor slash recorder for your video cameras or DSLRs, things like that. So, uh, this is what it comes in. I was surprised uh, because it comes in a whole little case. I really like that, the Ninja 2. Um, it's a hard case, so it's nice and durable. Let's see what we've got inside. All right, here we go. Lots of little goodies. Okay, so I guess where to start. First of all, this is the Ninja 2. So. As you can see, it actually has a monitor on it. It's telling us uh, make sure and upgrade the firmware. Now, it's kind of thick. It's actually very thick. I'd say that's like at least an inch and a half thick. So it's a lot bigger than most monitors you would, you would uh, care to purchase. But here's why. There's a slot in the side, and we'll get to that in a second. There are two uh, battery, battery slots on the back, and you'll notice in the case, it comes with two batteries. Now these are Sony compatible batteries, so if you happen to uh, already use Sony batteries, these are just going to snap on right there, just like that, and like this. So I guess I, I don't know how long it's going to give us for recording yet, but we'll find out. We'll, we'll, we'll do a full review on this later. It's also going to come with a dual battery charger. I like that a lot uh, because you don't want to have to be charging these batteries one at a time. Here's the AC adapter for the battery charger. Also notice that it does not have um, a tip on it for the country. I guess we've got several different ones. There's, there's a big one here. Uh, let's see, we've got all kinds of international adapters, European, and here's the US one. So it's got a couple of grooves. Looks like it's just gonna, there we go. It's snapped in, it will unlock by pulling this little lever, and then we could change it out. So if you're traveling internationally, you'll be able to use that. So that's gonna do the heavy duty battery charging for us. Uh, let's see what else we got in here. We have a dual USB cable. I don't know what that's for. We're gonna, uh, does this even have a USB port? No, I don't even see a USB port on it. So I'm not sure what that's for. We'll have to find out. We've got, um, some screws, a couple of packages of little black screws. You know what those are for? Those are for hard drives, which brings us to the next part here. This, oh, this must be what, this is what our USB cable is for. This is a reader for your drives, for two and a half inch drives. So we would plug this in via Firewire or USB and plug that into the computer for transferring. Now, there are also little cases. These are interesting. I don't, I don't know why they chose to do it this way, but I'm sure there's a good reason. These are little cases, and what we would do is, I have a stack of SSD drives. You use SSDs for recording. So we would take, for example, this little Samsung 128 gig drive, and we're gonna mount it in this plastic case and then this is what's going to go in the slot here so we'll load this in the slot and then we can record on it after you've recorded you pull it out well now i've kind of got it stuck with the uh with the door there and then we're going to slide it into here to read it and this allows us to swap out multiple um, drives. By the way, we learned a valuable lesson here. Don't stick, uh, don't stick it in without putting the, the cover on it because uh, it gets the little door thing in there um, stuck, I guess. Anyway, we'll get to that. We'll, we'll have to figure that out in a minute. So uh, we've got a little power cable. So this is probably going to allow us to power this um, off of another USB port. So we'll plug one in for transfer, one in for power. 
And then, oh, it comes with a firewire cable as well. So that's all the goodies. There are four of these little slots for the drives, uh, which is good because we've got four of these SSDs. So we'll be able to carry four of them with us. But I presume I will need to buy a couple more of these little covers if we're going to use all four of them. So that's what comes with the Ninja 2. Uh, we'll be doing a full review later. As soon as I get this drive unstuck, then I'm going to power it up uh, and we'll take a look at everything. It's got in and out a, uh, HDMI, in and out headphones and audio, mounts on the top and the bottom. Uh, so looks exciting. We'll get right on it and we'll be back with you guys with even more reviews later on. Stay tuned to geekbeat.tv and youtube.com forward slash geekbeat.tv. See you later.